think uh, fast days really are always the better days. Uh, Chris, you know we don't look at fundamentals. Let's see what you wrote. Uh, I was, you know, I rated both these things, but actually Sina is looking better, but I did like Sina. And Qualivere, I think you have, I think your platform, my guess is, but I could be incorrect unless you're looking at the volume somewhere wrong, is that you are, when you sign in, your platform is looking at the volume from the moment you sign in, not from the moment that the volume starts trading on the stock on the day. Like, for example, if you don't have this volume here, then your, you, your platform, for whatever reason, doesn't start the volume until you log in. So that's why I think you have that, 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 that I don't know if it's something you can change with a broker or if it's just a broker. I know some brokers are like that. You'd actually have to go look at the chart <clears throat> and look at the volume to see that this actually has volume. So that's what I'm thinking here, why you said low volume, because this isn't low volume. Uh, VCRA I don't like. Um, Brent, I did see your email. I don't know really what to say about Twitter. We don't really have a lot of time to talk about it right now, now but everybody should have gotten Twitter. Sorry, hold on. This is one of these five cent things too, which I didn't realize, but. <coughs> which is fine. Okay, this doesn't look like it's moving. Whoa, Sina is off, wow. Passes off, didn't even gap down. Wow, and that too. Wow. Okay, stop's gonna be, and I'm giving this wide 60 because of the spread. This isn't gonna be a small stop. Let's do 85 by 60. 85 by 60 carb. But let's just do it at 23. Here, do it. Do it right here. You can take it right here and get in and put the stop at 60. Just do it. That's a little bit better than what I had it originally. And I think we have plenty of room. Carb, be in it, be in it, be in it, be in it. It's kind of slow here, but the spread is tightening up. I don't know. It looked a little bit wider earlier, so better to be safe than sorry. Market here. I didn't even look at the spy at all today. I don't think. I don't think there's anything here that's going to tell us anything about carb. Actually, I don't see anything that really set up. Haas completely flipped. Okay, so I'm in this. If you didn't do it, you have time to get it here. You can get it here if you want. And uh, stop is way above. Actually, maybe we should give it 70 because I'm looking at the spread again here now. In fact, let's give it 10 more cents because the spread keeps changing. Put it at 70. Oh. There, it doesn't matter. I just got taken out. Wow, I barely had time to move it. No, nope, I just got taken out. Here, we're gonna sit here and still keep watching it. Let's see where I got filled on that. Well, I got filled through the number, but all right. No, nope. I actually got filled above 70, but it is what it is. Let's just keep watching this here. That was, it was a hard green bar. If you, if you didn't have time to change it, you got filled better than I did because I got filled through even 70. So let's just keep watching carb. Maybe I 
should have waited till 80. All right, we're going to retake this. Question is, how much room are we going to give it? Because the spread continues to continue to change. So you have to be out of this. I took the stop. It filled me through the stop, but it, that's life. Um, let's see if we can get this to go here in our favor. Gosh, that was a pretty good entry too. Oh, just wait. I need a quick trade today. I may not get it. No. Uh, VCRA I didn't like. And did this do anything? 20 cents. Let's look at that other one. GRFS. Alright, I'm back on top of carb. I'm going to be tight with this stop this time around. 95. 29 by 95. Carb. This shouldn't go back up again at all. 29 by 95. Carb. I'm going to be back on it. When it hits, it didn't hit yet. Haas did not do anything right. Haas gapped up. It ended up gapping up, Stephen. Twenty nine by ninety five carb. If this hits, I'm not going after VCRA. It's too late. It moved twenty some cents there quick. And besides the fact the market's rallying here, this pushed back. I want to make sure this holds. I think the market's gonna be very tricky today. Don't jump the gun on this. Oh, crap. There it is. It hit. Whatever you got filled, just put the stop in a 95. Just put the stop in a 95. That's tr It's trading weird. It's trading weird. I had a bad fill on the stop, and now all of a sudden the spread is 20 cents. This is trading strange. I, I'm, I mean, I'm in it again here now. I'm not going to worry about it, but just make sure that you do have the stop in. And I'm not giving it any more room. It shouldn't back up at all. If it does, it's not going to work. So I'm just going to be out of 95. And since it got filled so poorly the first time, that'll have to be it. So if you're in this, you're in it. What was the other one? This did not, oh, this, no, this did end up gapping down. I thought it gapped up. No, it did, it did gap down, but it flipped. So it's rallying now. So there'd be nothing to short here. Um, you know what we could have done? We could have done Twitter. Crap, I forgot about this this morning. Why didn't I think about this this morning? Shoot. Let me just look at this. Of course, this may not even be setting up because of the market. Carbs just trading really bizarre. No, this is lower. Twitter's lower. Gosh, should we do two things? That would be very risky on a short day for me. babysit this. Let, let this drop. I'm almost inclined to do two things, but I don't want to get crazy. Okay, who's in the carb? And I have a feeling some of you didn't take the first stop. Yes, the other day, who was it, Brent or somebody emailed me, they, didn't, they never had a stop in the one that did stop and then never reset up, which I'd emailed everyone about, but actually it never reset up. Here this goes. Um, what the heck was it? Whatever we did that didn't reset up, we took a stop and it didn't work. Then I sent an email out to watch it at certain numbers, but the numbers never hit. If you don't put a stop in, 
if you're in danger of losing more than you think, yes, this got stopped and now this is working again. And if you didn't have the stop and then obviously you didn't take the loss and if this goes on to work, you will never have taken the loss. And this looks like it's going to go now, but it's still better to have the stop in because you could lose two, three hours in one trade. And something can move against you really quickly. The other one from the other day didn't really. Here, this is going to go. I'm glad we stayed on top of it. EA, that was it. That was the one that was it. Here, th I don't know why this is so bizarre today, but it is. I think we've traded this before. I'm sure that we have. Just let it fall like a rock. Here, here it goes. Oh, what a bugger. What a bugger that that had to happen in that first trade. Here, let it go. It's going to go right down to 22. Just let it drop. Just let it drop. This is still working out according to my schedule. Thank you. Let this drop. This is going to bounce anywhere at all now. Yay. Wow, I'm so glad I stayed on top of that. So this is very tricky. Very trickery. And Twitter probably falls again, too. I'm not going to do this. If you run a short Twitter, if you feel like trading all day, you could stop over the high. Target's 30, though. Not a massive target here. But if the market flips, this will flip today, too. So I don't think that's worth taking the chance. This is working. Spread was weird. Traded bizarre. Didn't even look like it was open on time. I don't know. It's just bizarre. Now this spreads 17 cents. So again, you could scalp out of a little bit when we get a drop in here. Or if you even retook it, if you're worried about it going, you could get out of half or something. If you took the first loss and retook it with me, you could scalp out of a little bit here. This is a little bit of a move in here, okay? So again, it depends how you're playing it. As far as getting in, this is 50 some cents or thereabouts. So this is, you know, you could, you could just get out break even here if you don't want to deal with this because this didn't work the way that I originally thought it would today immediately. So, I mean, you could just come back break even for the day here if you want. Or you're waiting for it to drop. I think this is very spready because it's strange because it's tight and then it's wide and then it's even wider. Stock and move, though. Here it goes. Here. Do, 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 do. Here. Thank you for cooperating. Yay. I'm so glad we went back right into it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I think it's going to go right down to 22. No one's going to buy this here now. So 55 is the low. Let's watch it. You could, you could get out of it there. I'm going to hold it just a tad smidgen, baby more. Market could be dropping off here now. I don't know. Gap down to the market, rallied, didn't really come anywhere. So predictable that the market was going to push up into that resistance and drop again in, this, in the 200 premium average. I mean, you, you could have predicted that. It's like, whatever. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Just let it drop off. It's going to go right down to 22. We're going to have a nice trade. Even though we took the stop, this is a great entry. This is a dollar right here. What a nice trade. Here it goes. Here, here. Da, 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 da. <sighs> so let's try to get this to break 30. If we can... 35. Gosh, there's so much to look at, but none of it was good. It's odd. Come on, you. This is such a, this is the strangest thing we've traded all year. But it looks like it's moving, then it doesn't move, then it has, a, then the spread goes woo.
Okay, here we go. You could get out right here if you want. Darn it, I know this is going to keep going now. 35, 37. <coughs> You know, if I get out of this right here to drop another dollar, <laughs> it's like it, it absolutely will. I'm out. I'm out. I got out. I don't. I don't. I don't want to deal with it going over sixty. I can't. I'm gonna be smart today. I'm gonna be. Common sense says don't hold it because I don't have the time. I do think it goes to 22 amount. It, do whatever you want to do. I think it goes to 22. I think it can rock and roll under 22 with the market here. If it drops, I, I can't because of my schedule. So I think that was a good decision to me. And actually, this brings up one quick thing I'm going to say as a lecture. Um, and then I'm going to let everybody go so I can get on with my day. I... I had a mentoring session with Galahad last night. He's not here today. He is managing trades poorly. I'm going to use him as an example, though, so that some of you can learn from some mistakes that he's making, which some of you may never make because, of, because like, you just wouldn't do some of these things. But whether it's a day trade or an option trade, when you're looking for a percentage or that you're looking to make or earn, or even a target as far as the dollar number, you have to have common sense about it as far as the area. It's, this is an exact science. Now, I'm going to use him as an example because because this is, this is just an insane example. He was in an IBM option and he was up, he risked $300, he was up 250 two days ago in here. He didn't get out. I want him to, I'm forcing him to make a money management plan that he'll stick to. He really, he keeps saying he's gonna do this and that. And he says, well, he's gonna wait till it goes 100%. So because it was $50 off the 100% that he risked, he did not exit the trade this day. He was down yesterday, he's down more today. Now the trade's still on, he has a week left, but I think he missed his exit. So my point to him yesterday when I talked to him is, this is not an exact science. It's this, so this guy over here that we just did. Now look, this looks good. This looks amazing. Could this go to 22? Yes, but as far as I'm concerned, where I just got out, I got it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, perfect. Do you know what, you know what I'm saying? Like 30 cents from the target, 40 cents from the target, that's it, you did it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yes, you could hold this a little bit of more. Yes, you could, but it's like, you don't know 100% that it's gonna go where it's gonna go at the time exactly. This is an exact science. Does that make sense? Hector's first side trading made money. Did you get out? I mean, you could get out here, Hector, or you could hold it, but this is your first trade. I would suggest that you get out. Anyways, he was he was then arguing with me because he said, well, I said I was going to do 100%. It wasn't 100%. So then it was actually 83.3%. And I said, you know, then you need to do between 60% and 100%. You need to look to get out because it's never going to be exactly, it's not never, but it's, it's, you, can't, you can't miss an opportunity to exit a trade with profit because it's not at exactly 22 or exactly 100% or exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the nuances with trading where you got to make decisions and you got to get a feel for it. And the reason why you know it was a very obvious exit for him to get out is because he only had one week left in the trade. It was an option. So he has a fixed time to get out. He has not been booking profits correctly. He was up, it was real money, and it was very obvious to me that the market was gonna do something unless it blew over and gapped up a big time the following day. It was pretty obvious to me the market was gonna drop off because the market actually dropped off the day that the, 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 day that the 
the day that the IBM was green, market was actually red. So it was obvious to me the market was going to have some follow through with that red. <coughs> it wasn't big, but it was enough to pull the option that he was in was down. But then he swore up and down to me that if he had risked 30 grand instead of 300, that he would have got out if he had 25,000 profit. See, that's what makes no sense. And see, that's just, that's just, that's where he is at with his head, where he won't take any money off unless it's a ridiculous amount of win or money or actual dollars, and he can't risk $30,000, so he can't get out with $25,000, so he doesn't do anything right. But when years ago, when he used to risk more, he didn't get out then, so his logic just isn't even, isn't even rational because he used to risk four or $5,000 in some of those options trades. He'd be up two, 3,000, wouldn't get out because it wasn't 100%, and then he'd give that money back, and then the money he lost at the trade. So when you're in anything, I fully believe that this could very well go on, follow through, but I have to leave today. And so it looks like this is backing up. Looks like I had a good exit here. It still could go. Twitter, same thing. We had an amazing exit. Did it go a little bit more? Oh, look, this is going. Crap, did anyone do it? We could have we done this too. In, my, in the back of my mind, I was like, if I didn't have to leave today, we would have done this too. But you, you could have done this. Did anyone do it? I said, just take it and put the stop over the high. Look, this is going. And actually, Elaine, are you in here? I don't know if you're in here or not. It's probably too late now to buy a put, which I know you're doing options. You could have bought a put in this. I didn't feel the need to call an option trade in this, though, yesterday because I didn't really have the move that I expected it to yesterday in the day of the earnings, and the market was a crapshoot today where it would gap. Oh, this is going. Just broke 30. So anyways, if you're in this, it's okay if you have time to let it play on out. But if you want to be done in the morning, I think it's the best option. The days that I've tried to hold things or whatever, it's a pain in the butt. It's just, it's always a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt to do it. And sometimes if we take a loss in the morning, we can go back in the afternoon. That's a pain in the butt. You know, today and yesterday were perfect days. The fact we took a stop here, it is what it is. But actually, this really didn't do anything wrong. So it was kind of aggressive in here, but what are you going to do? Anyways, my point that I'm making, which was to him, was valid. So he didn't get out and he's up 250, but he would have got out if he was at $25,000 profit. But the percentage, which we, his rationalization was, well, I'm not getting out if it's a, not 100%. Okay, well, then why would you get out if you risk 30 grand at 25,000? Well, it's a lot of money. Well, $250 is a lot of money if you have a small account. So it doesn't, it's, you have to be rational about it in a common sense. He's doing many things wrong, but one of them is he's, in his mind, if the dollars aren't there, then he's, he doesn't want to do it, but he's not going to ever get to that point because he's not being rational about taking out profits when he's up. And in fact, when you have less money, you should be taking money out faster, which I did say the other day. You don't have the luxury of holding something if you are in a position where you need to be consistently booking profits to grow your account. If you have $2,000 in a trading account and you're trying to get up to 10, well, how's that going to happen? Everyone wants one big, huge trade that they can make a million dollars and then get the count up or come back from a lost day like in one full swoop. Although that can happen, it's not advised and it's very unrealistic. There's no second setup in this, Brent. Did you not do, we, we, did you not do the first one? There's no second setup in this. In fact, this either just bases out and drops and breaks again or I don't, th I don't think this is going to rally up. If it does and it resets up, it's not going to be before I close out the room. Did you do this trade or did you not do this trade? Oh, you did it. All right. Twitter was a home run yesterday. Best entry we've had in a long time because of the size of the stock. We'd like to get some more of those next week. Was what a break-even day for me? Which day are you talking about? I didn't retake EA. It never reset up. EA never reset up. No, today was not break-even. Today was profit. Weren't you here? Didn't you do the trade? Didn't you hear the call? All right, let's go over really, really quickly here, and then I'm going to let everybody go. First of all, everyone should be up that followed me here today, even if you took the one stop. So what happened? We shorted this here, jumped the gun a little bit, okay? Jumped the gun a bit. Anyways, got in, pooped over.
number where I had the number, okay? I ended up getting filled at 75, wanted to, well, actually, I originally had it at 60. Then I put it to 70, got hit out at 75, okay? Then we reshorted it right in here or whatever time it was. Here, this was the bar I got it. And then it came all the way down. No, I got almost a dollar out of this. And I did not lose a dollar in this trend trader. Did you not make any money in this today? Or did you not do it or? You must not have done the trade. I know you like that VCRA one. Did you, is this what you did? I just didn't think this was gonna go anywhere. I just don't think I would have done this. Stop would have been about 70 cents. And it ended up going about 30 cents of that. So who's doing what? I'm out of the carb. You should be up for the day if you took the stop. I don't see any other second setup in here. If you didn't do this, you didn't do it. Any quick questions from anyone in here? I have no idea what we get next week. We could have done Twitter too, but you know, it's a lot to manage. And also I took the stop in carb. So if I had done this, even though I didn't know this was gonna drop off like two seconds after I looked at it, but if I had, I would have done it and had a, you know, a nicer day. But anyways, if this had stopped or taken longer to go, I would have been stuck in the trade past 10. And so since I have to leave, I just don't think that was a good idea, but it just worked. I mean, if I had known it was gonna drop in five minutes after I said it, I would definitely would have done it. Koala Bear still in carb. Nice trade, you're still waiting for your account. All right. Listen, have a great weekend, everyone. I'm feeling better, thank God. Have a wonderful day, and um, I will see you all Monday. Okie doke. Very good. <laughs>